Before you can replace your clutch, you're going to have to remove both the transmission and the engine from the vehicle. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional information and instruction on how to perform those tasks. This video includes how to replace your rear main seal. If your rear main seal is not leaking, it's not necessary to do this while replacing the clutch. But since you have everything off, it's a good project to tackle if needed. The 911 Complete Clutch Package should include everything that you need. This particular package is for the 915 transmission from 1972 to 1986. Shown here are 1. The pressure plate, 2. The flywheel, resurfaced and clean, the spring-centered clutch disc, the clutch alignment tool, number 5 is the throwout bearing and clips, number 6 is the clutch throwout arm, number 7 is the helper spring, number 8 the flywheel seal and 9 the flywheel bolts. Number 10 is the pilot bearing. The procedure for removing the flywheel seal is a bit tricky. The goal is to remove the seal without damaging any of the important mating surfaces that surround the seal. One way is using two screwdrivers. Place one across the end of the crankshaft to use as a brace to pry the seal out with the other. The other, and the method I prefer, is use a couple of small self-tapping screws, screw them into the center of the seal, then use pliers and pull the screws and seals out together. Don't worry about damaging the seal, you will be replacing it anyways. This photo shows the new flywheel seal and pilot bearing installed on the 915 flywheel. Make sure that the new seal is mated flush with the case by tapping it with the blunt end of a hammer or socket ratchet, or better yet, use a soft piece of wood between the two of them. Don't forget to place a little lithium grease on the pilot bearing before you attach the clutch disc and pressure plate to the flywheel. Tightening the flywheel bolts will require the use of a triple square socket, a flywheel lock, and a heavy duty torque wrench. You can make your own lock using a thin strip of metal with two holes drilled through it or a boxed end wrench. Bolt one end to the flywheel and place the other around the studs in the engine case. When tightening down the flywheel bolts, start with one bolt and then move across the center, tightening them about 50% of their final torque value. Repeat the procedural several times, increasing the torque value about 20% or so until you have reached the final torque. Check and then double check the bolts to make sure they are torqued to the correct specifications. Place the new clutch disc against the flywheel and set its center alignment using the clutch alignment tool. If you don't use the tool throughout this procedure, you will have great difficulty mating the engine back with the transmission. The tool sets the location of the disc so that the input shaft from the transmission can easily mate with the clutch disc when the transmission and engine are remated. Install the pressure plate with the alignment tool in place. Make sure that you attach the throwout bearing and check its operation before you mount the pressure plate to the flywheel. The alignment tool should easily slide in and out of the clutch disc in this configuration. Torque the pressure plate bolts in a crisscross fashion. The 915 transmission throwout arm is often a source of clutch problems. Over many years of use, it has a tendency to develop cracks and break. It is a wise idea to replace this arm while you have the engine out. New ones are relatively cheap insurance against having to remove the engine again. Make sure that you replace the thin upper and lower seals that flank both the top and bottom of the arm. The 901 throwout arm seldom breaks, but there is a small bushing contained within the arm that should be replaced with every clutch job. Remove the retaining clip from the rear of the arm to remove it from the transmission. Pick out the old bushing and press the new one in. Make sure to spread some lithium grease in the new bushing prior to reinstalling it. 
Here is a diagram of the 915 clutch assembly. This diagram shows the original rubber centered disc, which is not recommended for use on your 911. Make sure that you replace your original rubber centered discs with the spring centered discs. Here you can see 1 through to 10, the socket head screws, lock washer, pressure plate, starter gear ring, clutch disc, circlip, thrust washer, release bearing, washer, and the spring washer. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.